Lush, have you found anything related to the relic that I have once requested? Excellent. I will continue in my search of finding a escape room player. He is quite an enigma, just like me. I will find him, and I will crush, kill, destroy. Advanced Wars did not get any fucking mention, but apparently someone did find something in Wes's show about Advanced Wars, and basically they said that we will let people know when we decide a release date. Just fucking release it already. Even fucking Ally RX actually made a very good statement that basically says, you know, the game's already fucking finished. Goldeneye is even getting released despite the supposed setting of most of the levels taking place in fucking Russia, and that Nintendo's want to be so secure that they don't want to offend their fans and get excited for Fire Emblem, a game that's fucking warred it, and yet you have fucking jackasses who legitimately say that these fucking naysayers who legit piss me off because they're like, oh, we can't have Nintendo release Advance Wars because it has parallels to real war. These people are fucking brain dead. I'm sorry if I'm being an asshole, but legitimately, you are fucking brain dead. I, I give no fucks anymore. If you want Nintendo to get into real-world controversy and loose the goodwill from their general co consumer base, go ahead. Okay? And as someone actually says, Call of Duty games are still being released. I can't see a reason why this case. It's not even remotely related to Russia either. Besides the fact that Blue Moon is essentially not Russia, but whatever. It's a fucking cartoony war game. Like, who gives a shit? COD covers wars that have long since passed. What about the Modern Warfare games? The games are supposed to be set in, oh, I don't know, modern settings? And also the same person who responded even says, and this takes place in a completely separate universe, so it's nothing to do with fucking Russia or whatever the fuck is going on. Yeah, I'm sorry there's a, a bunch of fucking war going on in real life, but it's not a fucking novel concept. At least, finally, Zelda fans will stop claiming they're starving. Well, guess what? Us Advance Wars fans fucking want this game, even if it is a remaster of the two games. Yeah, it sucks it's gonna be fucking $60. But, you know, I think it's about time us Advance Wars fans are fucking do something. But whatever. People need to understand Ukraine lives matter before games. If the originals never had Russia allegories, and thus this remake, it's a fucking remaster, you fucking numbnuts, this wouldn't have happened. They should have removed it. Maybe they are, but for all we know, that's what's going to probably take a lot of development to do. What? Do you want everything to be, like, fucking Overwatch or Rainbow Six Vegas, where they just... Rainbow Six Vegas, no. That's actually a good game, though. Do you want everything to be like Rainbow Six Siege or like practicing against fucking non-realistic whatever the fucking tactics and shit? As long as the Ukraine-Russia war is still going on, we're probably not going to be seeing this anytime soon. And don't tell me it's been enough time. And if it's not as upfront, people are still suffering. Let the war end and pass for caring about a video game. Oh, you mean like caring about Splatoon 3? Okay, whatever. Fuck off. Why limit it to just Advance Wars, though? Shouldn't Nintendo just delete all games have something to do with war until further notice? And when do we know it's been enough time? Remember the conflict ends or weeks after that? Years after that? Alright, so let's see what this fucking person has to say about this shit. Advanced Wars, like, oh, so you're one of those people, fucking amazing. Had allegories to Russia, something like Fire Emblem or Splatoon to an extent. Oh, so Splatoon somehow gets a pass? Okay. Plus, they're different from the more semi-real semi -real world of Advanced Wars. How the fuck is Advanced Wars realistic? Okay? How the fuck is Advanced Wars, like, semi-real? Okay? You're fucking stupid. So the problem is not Advance Wars to pick war, but because they're vaguely reminded of some people of Russia, so games like Front Mission and Fireball are completely acceptable things to release under these same circumstances. 
Yeah, I- exactly. It's like anything that's remotely do with Russia, ban it. Oh, Call of Duty's coming out, ban it. Fucking Goldeneye, ban it. What the fuck other games have fucking Russia in it? Mercenaries, ban it. Hell, that game has fucking Koreans and shit. Remember that shit? Or look at fucking something like Homefront, okay? Let's say that there was supposed to be a fucking third Homefront game, except instead of uh, North Koreans, it's not fucking Russia and Ukraine. See how long that shit'll fucking last. Those games didn't have an allegory for Russia. You're a fucking idiot. Are you sure? No allegory whatsoever. Games about nations fighting against each other and there isn't a slightest comparison that could be made to Russia. None of those nations in those games go out of way to resemble Russia. No direct resemblance in terms of locations, culture, people. So, it's okay if a game doesn't have any direction connections to Russia, but something like Advance Wars, which does it in the most lighthearted way, is somehow offensive to people like you. Allegories aren't always going out of the way to copy their inspiration, though. And when are we are not talking about resemblance to account? Because we aren't, then why shouldn't this kind of thing delay all games of two nations at odds with each other? Yeah, exactly. I think Bill little purposely obtuse here. I think it's pretty clear something is essentially alluding to Russia versus Swift that mental gymnastics is way too late, LMAO. So is there something like Advanced or essentially alludes to Ukraine then? Like, is there a country in the game that is specifically supposed to represent Ukraine? I don't think there has to be one. Just a Russian one is enough. It's not just a censorship or something they're holding back the game on their own accounts. I'll see why she have to issue with that. It sucks not getting the game, but oh well, you know. Okay, so fucking Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 got delayed then. You'd be fucking crying your eyes out, right? Fucking idiot. First, I think it's a little silly for them to keep delaying the game over. I'm not going to pretend like I don't see where they're coming from. That's why I say it being obtuse. Lol. Yes, I do think it's silly to see why he did, but this game is a not Ukraine, it's not uncomfortable and not Russia. What's supposed to be the problem? Exactly. It was actually. They delayed it because of the war going on between Russia and Ukraine. I think it's pretty understandable why game about war got delayed when there's a war going on. Now the next year is a bit of extreme, but delay still made sense. It was an excuse that he still released Fire Emblem, and that is worse than ours. Triangle Strange was released a month after the Russia and Ukraine war, and that was still released. And here's the fucking brain like comment of the year. Fire Emblem is a medieval fantasy that doesn't have any allegories to real life events, so I guess I guess by your logic Dragon Ball would be perfectly fine.